Welcome back to the channel. Don't do that, Max. It's really annoying. Yes, this is very annoying for somebody that keeps commenting it. Shout out to Shelly. Anyway, today... <laughs> um, so bad. We are talking about this miracle yes. device that many of you have messaged us about. Yeah. And want to know our opinions. So many people want to know about the snoo. Is it worth $1,600? It's That's up. insane. Should you spend $1,600 on a smart bassinet? You're here to find out. So let's get into that. This is the snoo right here. First of all, it's very durable. It's packaged very well. And it's easy to transport because we actually just transported it down to my parents house they live a couple hours away the little legs right there they just pop right out it's not very compact because it doesn't break down any further than that but it does come with a little like travel bag bag cover thing so it's there's more of a that cover i think it's i don't think it's meant for travel yeah it's not meant for travel it's just meant for storage probably we've had the snoo for our firstborn he is now two years old he's obviously outgrown the snoo but he used it and we also have a new but well a four month old and she has been using it ever since she was born so we've got double the experience and we've had one colicky baby the first one and now we have the kind of opposite. She's not very colicky. Not colicky at all. She's yeah, she's a happy-go-lucky baby girl. Let's sit down. Let's talk about if it's worth it to buy the $1,600 smart bassinet. Let's check it out. By the way, this video is not sponsored. The snoo did not pay us a single dime, so... Happiest baby is actually the... The happiest baby, exactly. See, definitely not sponsored. We get questions about it all the time. Mm -hmm. If you haven't watched our original snoo review, it might be worthwhile to check that out and see w what the differences are between what we say in this video and what we said back then. Maybe if you have a colicky child, the first video might be worth it It'd for be you. It'd more relevant, I think, than this video. Yeah, because our current child is not colicky, so check that one out. Mm -hmm. Our current child, we just like... Our current child, the previous... We got the rid previous, of the last yeah, one. Exactly. We're on on our current now. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. We really appreciate it. We don't really tell people that very often, so it feels awkward and you just gave me the eyebrow. Anyway, let's get into the review. Yeah. What do you have to say, Max? How do you feel about the snoo as a father? As a father that wakes up... Zero times. A shout out to all the moms in the world who are really waking tired. up like multiple times in the in the night. I have nothing but respect. For you. I wish I heard that sometimes. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> oh, come on, baby girl. Just get all the recognition. I'm <laughs> okay. Let's let's just get into the snoo because that's what you're here for. Yes, Lucy. She's four months old. She has been sleeping in the snoo. What would you say? Do you think it's worth it? Does it get her to sleep, or do you have to put her down while she's already sleeping and it keeps her asleep, or some combination of both? Yeah. So I will say what I did for Louis is a little bit different than what I'm doing for Lucy. So. If you're not familiar with the snoo, there's clips that you have to have engaged in order for the snoo to start. The straps with Lucy, I only put the straps over her mm -hmm. versus putting her into the snoo sack yeah. like I did with Louie. So it basically just holds her in, but she's not like in an actual like sleep sack with the snoo yeah. itself. Yeah. Maybe not recommended. It's how we're doing it. Put it, it that way. It does the job. And honestly, I feel like a lot of times with Louie, when you put him into the sleep sack, he woke up. You're like finagling their whole entire body. Yeah. And especially if you have like a light sleeper, yeah. they're going to wake up from that 100% of the time. So it's like, it's basically impossible to get them in there mm -hmm. and keep them asleep if they're already sleeping. Right. With Lucy, you just set her down in there. And is she always asleep when you're setting her down or is it, is she always awake? She, I'd say she's probably asleep 60% of the time yeah. and then awake maybe 40, maybe even 30. A lot of times I'll put Lucy in the bassinet because she's upset in my arms and she just can't settle. Like she's tired, yeah. doesn't want to be touched. She's touched out. <laughs> and so I'll, I'll set her down in the snoo and she'll pass out within five to 10 minutes. That is something that is new for us because with Louie, you could set him in here, you could set him anywhere and he would just scream bloody murder. Unless he was bouncing on the yoga ball. That was the one exception. With Lucy, it's really nice because you just set her down in there and even if she's a little bit fussy, you can set her in there and it, it like does, does it its magic. It puts her to sleep. So what it has is the snoo has different levels of soothing. soothing and then it can sense when the baby is upset and needs to be soothed. The more upset that it senses them to be, the higher level of soothing that it'll go to where it like, rocks them harder or what have you. Right. After a set period of time, at the highest level, it will shut off if your baby is still crying. Is it worth $1,600? Because when we bought this one, price of it, I think was $1,000. Yeah. 
This is now 1600 for the same exact one. Yeah. Something else that we should mention, you can rent it for I think like 160 a month I saw on their website. Mm -hmm. Would I pay $1,600 for this? I'll say my opinion yeah. and then you say yours. Yeah, 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 yeah. My opinion would be if I have the disposable income to afford $1,600 item, I probably would buy it because the resale on these is also pretty high you're probably gonna be able to sell it for what? Like a thousand bucks. A thousand, if not more. So it's really only costing you five to six hundred dollars and giving you lots of peace of mind, hopefully. I will say with Louie, it didn't really work. Like he was only in there for a couple of months. I think in the end, if I have the money to do it, I would. And I would just accept that it might not work as well as I wanted it to work, like it did with our firstborn or it may work even better than you expect, like it does with Lucy. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. If you have $1,600 and hope that the snoo works well for you, I would 100% recommend it. If you're like barely scraping by. It's uh, definitely excessive, right? It's 1600 like that's a lot of money. Yeah, so, and that's what people said on our last video too. They're like, so it's a complete waste of money. So it just totally depends on the person. It depends on the baby. And I also will add that with Louie and with Lucy, a lot of times I'll notice that they woke up in the middle of the night and the snoo just soothed them back to sleep and I didn't have to get up with them. That's the other really nice thing that it does is like they can wake up and be a little bit fussy and boom, the snoo will sense it and they're right back to sleep. A lot of times I don't even notice it. Exactly. Oh, and that should lead us to our next point. The snoo has an app. And that's how you can actually notice those type of situations, right? Because right. it'll tell you. It logs their sleep yeah. every night. You want to pop the app up real quick? I, I don't because it's not connected to Wi-Fi right now, so we don't have any logs. Okay, so that's the downside of the Snoo, but it should be because it's plugged in, right? So here's the Snoo app. This is a downside of it is we plugged it in and it doesn't automatically connect to Wi-Fi. We went to our parents' house. It just wouldn't operate. And I was like, what's going on? Is it broken? Did we break it when we we're moving it? And I was super concerned and it turns out I had to go into like way deep into the settings in the app and figure out how to remove the Wi-Fi, reconnect it to a new one. Mm -hmm. It should just do all of that automatically and figure it out. Obviously, if it can't connect, it should prompt you and be like, I need to connect to something. The app, it looks like this. And essentially, if it was connected right now, you would see how the baby slept. It would have little fill-ins and gaps and things like that where they woke up, that sort of thing. And it tells you their total sleep, their longest sleep. And then in here, you have all the different account stuff, your motion limiter, Lucy's snoo, you can name it. Pilot features, that's cool. So things that they're about to bring out. I tried car ride mode and it did not prolong Lucy's sleep. And that's a big nasty error that you get when it's not connected. That's the app, the app is pretty neat. Frankly, I never really open it. I don't think you open it that often, do you? Do you? Uh, yeah, I, I, I okay. did when Lucy was a lot smaller. It's just so hard to say whether you should or shouldn't. Like I said, it, it totally depends on your baby. Maybe renting is a really good option for you. You can try it out. I don't know if there's a minimum or not that you have to I think there's for. a two month minimum. Let's listen to the sounds that the snoo makes. This is the lowest setting right when you set your baby in there. This is what it should sound like. So it comes with small, medium, large. What you do is you put your baby in. <laughs> So this is level two. We were just like fake crying in the background. You probably just saw it because I think I'm going to include that there. Oh. Yeah, definitely including it. So that's level two. <laughs> okay, ready? See that? Level three. That's pretty cool. This is level four. See, it gets a little bit louder. Different motion. And this is the highest level. When you hear this level, that's the, oh crap, I'm either bracing for impact or she's gonna fall asleep. This is the final level. Like this is the stage of no return, put it that way. In our situation, would you have bought in the snoo? Knowing what I know now? Yeah. Like. I 1000% would. Yeah, I, I. I would totally, it's a, a complete splurge. But yeah. the, the peace of mind that you get with your baby knowing that they're on their back. If the snoo provides anything, it's peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Like it, it doesn't always work 100% how you want it to or it's whatever. It's just an extra set of hands. You know what I mean? Like you set your baby down and hope that the snoo soothes them because yeah. you are unable to. Exactly. So I think the final conclusion of this vlog is that we would buy the snoo. Here comes Luna. Luna, you want to go in the snoo? 
I don't think so. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.